It's the biggest shake-up of our health system in a generation. From midnight tonight, our 20 district health boards will merge into one national organisation. Health New Zealand will lead the day-to-day -day running of the health system for the whole population through these four regional divisions. And the new Māori Health Authority has been formed to work alongside Health New Zealand to achieve better outcomes for Māori. It comes at a time when the health system is under unprecedented strain and the health ministers being realistic, conceding it won't be an overnight fix, but it's a start. Health correspondent Lucy Warhurst has the details. The health system is taking a hit from COVID and flu and is stretched to the extreme. The health minister admits there are chronic shortages, but says there's now a better chance of fixing them. I'm so big challenges we have at the moment, like recruiting more nurses, it's one organisation recruiting nurses, not 20 different organisations recruiting in the same market. Day one of the new system won't look any different, but over time he says it will mean more consistent care. Things like our cancer treatments, um, uh, the same treatments available wherever you are in the country. Māori Health Authority CEO Rihanna Manuel says Māori are most likely to die from cancer and have a shorter life expectancy, something she's determined to change. It took 182 years to get us here. Um, I would challenge that it's not going to take us that long to turn it around. She says removing barriers to health services for Māori by introducing things like self-tests for cervical screening will help. It's making sure that our children will not inherit the same system that we did. So that's got to be our kind of ultimate, we call it the paitawhiti, so it's that destination we're moving toward. The College of GPs says it's crucial that Health New Zealand addresses three key areas. Funding, the delivery of health care to high needs areas and more GPs. We have a very apparent shortage of general practitioners in this country, which has developed over the last two decades and needs to be resolved. Many parts of the country now cannot access a general practitioner effectively and that is affecting the health of New Zealanders. Patients advocate Malcolm Mulholland supports the move to One Health organisation, but... The health system is effectively in meltdown, and so the timing um, couldn't be worse. Look, we could find every excuse to kick the can down the road and, and not make the change. We have got to make the change. We've made the change. And the health minister says every dollar saved on administration will go to frontline healthcare and treatments. Sadly, for many patients, they won't see those changes overnight. Mm. So when Health NZ takes effect, it'll actually mean nothing for them on the ground. But eventually, over some years, hopefully these um, issues can be addressed. So no promises of a fix by Friday. But one big merger is one big step to better health in the future. Lucy Warhurst, News Hub.